there isn't a science about it. It's a lot of observation and pattern recognition. But a couple of things I'm happy to share with you is, typically great entrepreneurs come two at a time. Being a founder is incredibly difficult. You need to be an evangelist, so talk about the future, what's gonna happen. On the other side, you have to be meticulous about hiring teams and meeting deadlines and delivering products. Typically, it's easier for us to spot those skills in two founders, maybe very different. Maybe one is extroverted and is the outside spoken person and you know is one to tell the story and make you fall in love with it. And then you have the manager guy, the one that is detail oriented, the one that is gonna you know, meet the deliverables. There is a saying in California, they say great founders can go in beast mode and stay in beast mode. I mean, beast mode is when you are really intense, when the speed of what you do is fantastically high, when you don't sleep at night, when you cancel everything that you're doing outside of the work because that's the only thing that gets you motivated. Beast mode is when an investor asks you a question and the next day you have the answer. Amazing, uh, amazing founders can go in beast mode and stay there for longer than others. The life of a fund manager looks a little bit like your Facebook page. Uh, you only talk about the good things. You only show the great holidays and you only talk about success. Uh, nobody talks about the misery of what happens in between those moments and uh, uh, the pain and the tribulation and the hard work. I think this is a bit part of the myth. I think uh, the, the VC industry has now opened up a lot more and you know, we, we certainly don't fly with private jets. I think we, uh, we're very proud of being frugal. We have a small office, we travel uh, easy jets. And the reason is because there is no need for the rest, we are happy to act as we preach to some of our companies. It would be inconsistent and hypocritical of us to be any different. I think the life of an entrepreneur is a lot tougher than the life of an investor. I think our clock is a lot more generous. Once you raise your funds, you know you have a number of years in front of you where you can actually plan and make things happen. When I was an entrepreneur for two and a half years, in a very fast-moving uh, company, the pace is, is incredible. And I, for one, I couldn't be the beast mode guy for more than probably only a few months. It doesn't matter if you have resources, it doesn't matter if you raise a lot of money, uh, the pressure is incredible. And uh, I think if uh, from time to time a founder flies business class or stays in a nice hotel, it's probably because he or she actually really, really needs that night off and it's time to recover.